Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. I'm an SAP architect and in this session we are going to discuss about the overview of SAP Activate methodology and this has also been popularly called as Active methodology as well. So both refer to the same methodology uh, and um, I prefer to call it as Activate methodology and this is uh, just an overview. I'm going to uh, discuss more in detail about the Activate methodology in, in few of the coming sessions. So let's move on and uh, look at the introduction of Activate methodology. The Activate methodology is a modular and agile framework for implementation or a migration to SAP S4 HANA. Uh, and it builds on our already existing ASAP methodology and uh, the launch methodology which we had been aware of uh, from a pretty long time. And, uh, and it builds uh, and like uh, you can use the methodology on your own with the SAP directly or with uh, SAP partner as well. The components of the SAP Activate methodology are like uh, we have uh, various components based on the different uh, different methodology, uh, I mean like different uh, uh, implementation uh, and we have best practices methodology and the guided configurations which SAP provides with the Activate methodology. So we have uh, best practices ready configured uh, business processes based on industry best practices and methodology like SAP guidance to accelerate implementation and optimization and guided configuration is for tools to help activate best practices content and uh, make customized adjustments. Now these are the uh, phases of activate methodology uh, uh, in a snapshot and in this we have the basic uh, phases would be the prepare, explore, realize and deploy phases but it was also equally important for us to focus a bit upon the discover and run metro run phases as well. So we have various uh, various uh, activities that we are going to do in this various phases of uh, the the activate methodology. So if you if you observe the discover phase, we basically have to experience the cloud trial. We just have we will we will we'll look at the look and feel and uh, the possibilities that we have and we ex we basically look at what exactly would be happening in this particular project and then we have the prepared uh, phase which is the main phase actually of the uh, you know methodology where we uh, we start doing it. So discover is something which we randomly just check that uh, of how is working out uh, for our company. Uh, and the client uh, would like to better understand about the Activate uh, methodology and the SO HANA platform actually basically. So ready to run a uh, business process uh, optimized for SAP SO HANA and model company with the organization and uh, master data delivered with products. And uh, here you can observe uh, uh, in the prepared, prepared phase that we have a lot of uh, additional features, just, not just the templates that SAP provides in ASAP methodology, not sim similar to that, we also have the templates, but addition to that, we also have a uh, guided configuration uh, options that we can explore about. So run fit cap analysis has been done in the explore phase where we have uh, solution scoping and content activation, simple adaption of uh, best practices toward the self-service uh, uh, configuration. And we have gap, uh, fit, fit gap analysis instead of costly blueprinting. So, uh, you know, blueprinting always was a costly affair. Now they have cut short that into the run uh, fit and gap analysis. So they have uh, support Delta implementations through the content lifecycle in management. And then we have the, um, in the Delta implementations, what exactly would be our, uh, our advantage uh, on, uh, on the other configurations is we don't have to always start from the scratch. We already have a lot of, you know, uh, suggestions that, that have, that can be carried forward for the configuration. Then we have the realized phase. We have migrate, integrate and extend. We have uh, uh, productized migration best practices, in integration best practices into the cloud solutions and we have automated testing with the uh, predefined test scripts we have extended the uh, uh, configuration uh, uh, guide as well so that that's their uh, those are the tools that sap provides for the realized phase and then we have the deploy it's onboard and deploy phase we all know that and getting st started and guided tools embedded uh, learning and documents for simple onboarding of end users so we, we make that uh, documentation as well uh, as easy as possible for the end users to understand. So integration into SAP Learning Hub and then go live. And we also have the run, operate, this is the most important thing. If you observe in the SAP ASAP 8.0 methodology, they have also included the run, that's the operate and monitor and support phase. 
which has been introduced and here also we if they have further extended that into the activate methodology as well wherein uh, we we have to it's our responsibility as an organization to make the client comfortable with the new platform and be aware of it and fix uh, uh, you know a couple of uh, small issues considerably small issues which can do that in a uh, in, in couple of uh, you know uh, days of time so integration with sap solution manager for operations and uh, monitoring and support now let's look at the uh, various types of transactions we can we can have three different types of uh, 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 pro uh, 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 procedures or three different types of uh, scenarios where we can we can use activate methodology we have uh, new implementation wherein the comp the organization or the client is basically coming from non sap systems to sap system mm -hmm. for the first time and uh, this is a new implementation of s4 ana and if at all if the comp client has already been uh, using sap software so the older versions and now they want to get into the activate uh, 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 the s4 s4 ana platform then they can go for system conversion and we also have the landscape landscape transformation when we are going to move from the ecc to uh, s4 hana uh, and then we have sap activate uh, on agile so we uh, sap has uh, given pretty much uh, importance or significance to the agile process procedure in activate as well so activate methodology is based on agile methodology it is designed to co-innovate with customers and is accessible to for partners who have, who can add content to support specific industry so sap activate active activate methodology can be applied to both cloud and on premise editions so sap activate uh, provides you with uh, out of box migration content and new implementation scenarios as well in the clouded uh, uh, configuration we have stages of activate methodology as we already discussed the main phases of uh, the activate methodology are prepare explore realize and deploy so the goal of Act sap activate is to uh, customer uh, is to provide the customers with a faster and uh, faster and less service intensive in, in initial implementation uh, so cost effective it's also cost effective for the client whether it is in in a cloud or on premise so in addition sap activate activate uh, provides the customer with the ability to innovate and adapt to the innovations rapidly throughout the entire product life cycle so sap best practices provide the baseline configuration which enables ready to run and digitized uh, analytical and operational process business process that covers the fundamental business process of an organization we have these phases like prepare explore and realize deploy uh, these are the main phases as we discussed and uh, Let's move on to the activate uh, in, in, in activate discover phase. So the discover phase will help you consider and experience SAP S4 HANA before starting a project to implement uh, uh, the the actual software. So in this phase, you deploy the strategies and the roadmap you will use to the implement to implement uh, implementation uh, implementation of the SAP S4 HANA software. Uh, and it, you can experience in this space you, the particular emphasis is given on experiencing the sap s4 hana platform so you can get a free uh, uh, check in and free uh, uh, trials uh, wherein we can explore cloud and on premise editions and you and the and the client would be in a better position to decide which one to go for now in the explore phase since we have already discovered what exactly is sap s4 hana platform is all about and the various options that sap is providing we'll move on to the explore phase the project is initiated and planned including quality and risk plans the, the system environment is set up including best practices with ready to run processes in the explore phase the uh, customer uh, you know, team explores sap solution functionalities while the sap integrator explores the customer's business together they use fit and gap uh, workshops as we discussed this is a kind of a replacement for the blueprint phase which we had in asap methodology which was which was always a bit costly affair for the client so now they use this fit and gap analysis workshops to identify the configurations and extension that best meet the customer's requirements we have the explore uh, explore phase we further uh, have the scope of the project been determined and uh, the realize phase focuses on the transfer as we uh, will be discussing that of uh, business requirements to a working configuration of the system so this includes not just the pure configuration of the system but also the realization of the identif identified integrations scenarios in the migration of data so that comes in the realization phase actually in the realization phase the teams configure and extend the system 
So this is actually where the work done work comes. So realize realize phase is pretty much similar to realization phase which we had in SAP methodology. So configuration and build are done in short iterative cycles. Uh, so iterative cycles is very you know this this is the concept uh, which we have in agile methodology which has been derived from there with regulation regular validations and uh, feedback from the business so structured testing and um, data migration activities help ensure the quality so we have deploy uh, final preparation before cut over the, to the production help ensures that the system data and users are ready for transitioning to the production production environment the transition to operations includes setting up and launching support then hand, handing of the operations to the organization management managing the environment so this is basically to you know uh, the final preparation phase kind of a thing yeah deploy so we have a run phase which actually is like in the purpose of the run phase is to continue adoption of the implemented uh, solutions across the organization for the client during this phase the customer adds new users enables their business users to execute the business transactions manages regression testing for the quarterly upgrades and activate additional functionalities as required so in this phase basically we're going to assist the client to fix all these things to assist all these things uh, we'll, be, we'll be doing that okay so thanks for watching this video i'm going to make a few more videos on uh, the activate methodology which is a pretty much important concept for us to understand the sap espo hana implementation uh, and uh, if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel chairs of tech and um, uh, thanks for watching this video and you can comment on comment on this video and uh, you can also write to me of any suggestions that you would be like to give me i'll definitely try to follow them thank you have a good day